I completed all Project Overthrow missions solo in hard mode. To start these missions, you need the Avenger and the Operations Terminal upgrade. You guys already know it, I don't know why I'm explaining all these things, but it's alright. In the Operations Terminal, you can find two categories. One is Project Overthrow missions and the other one is Los Santos Angels operations. LSA operations are like mini missions, I believe. Today, we are going to focus on the Project Overthrow missions. Totally, six missions are available and we are going to finish them all solo in hard mode. In case if you didn't know the difference between hard and normal modes, basically you get extra cash and RP and you also cannot respawn. That's pretty much it, I believe. Alright, now the first mission, reporting for duty. In this mission, we have to fly the Avenger to the quarry and destroy some Meriwether trailers, steal a cargo from them and that's it. It sounds simple, but as usual, I found some ways to make it complicated. First of all, I didn't understand the concept of bomber runs, so I didn't use it. Then I got to know about the autopilot and the turrets in the Avenger, so I started using them instead. The quarry is full of air defenses as well. It was a struggle getting in there. In my fourth attempt, I was able to destroy all the trailers and air defenses. And I was able to steal the cargo, loaded the car inside the Avenger, did took some hits on the way but delivered the cargo and the mission is done. The payout is kinda low, I mean super low, cause this week the overthrow missions are 2 times bonus but still I got this much only. I can't imagine what we would get without the bonus. Now I get it. Now I get why people are saying these missions are not worth it. But I don't really care. So let's continue. The second mission is called Falling In. We just have to recover some crates underwater while fighting Meriwether. Great. I don't understand how these helicopters are still flying. Well anyway, found those crates quickly here. On to the second location. Same situation but Avengers 1 engine is gone. It could still fly and all but I couldn't trust it anymore. Recover the second crate, shot down the helicopter that came afterwards. But the Avengers started smoking. This is where I made a wrong decision. I should have used the Avenger to escape even with one engine. I chose the car instead and paid the price for it. But at least in the second attempt, I used the Avenger and delivered the crates successfully. And the third mission is the most annoying one and I hated it so much. Not because it's super hard or anything, I didn't know I had missiles in that jet. The third mission is called On Parade. In this mission, you get to test drive the Raiju jet. You do some stunts and you destroy some targets. As I said, I didn't know you could switch weapons. God damn it, I made it so much complicated than it has to be. After the stunts and target practices, Meriwether comes in to destroy you because they were supposed to do this test drive, but we got that opportunity. And this is where the struggle starts. I just couldn't destroy these helicopters. I couldn't go behind them, couldn't hit them with these guns, and they were using missiles. After a 30 minutes of struggle, I tried hover mode. I got immediately shot down, but it's a beginning of a strategy. I thought I could just land the jet and shoot down the helicopters. Nope, I couldn't get out, so can't really cheese it. At some point, I figured out how to destroy the helicopters somewhat efficiently, but after destroying the helicopters, the jet comes in. Well, most of the time, they'll just die on their own, but sometimes, you'll have to shoot them down. It was the hardest thing ever. They were using missiles, but I didn't know I had missiles too. I just couldn't kill any of these guys quickly. But when I killed them all, two enemy Avengers came in and I had to destroy both of them. And those Avengers has only god knows how much health they had. I was stuck on this mission for 2 hours. It's embarrassing to say this, but this is the most time I spent playing one part of the game or stuck somewhere in a non-souls game. Well, I get it, I didn't know about the missiles. This is the first time I'm using a jet to attack another one. Still, embarrassing. 
I've prepared this death montage so we can get through this quickly. Watch this. After this many tries, my neck really started hurting because the whole time I was driving the jet with my neck also rotating the head like how the camera spins. It got real bad so I took a break and watched a YouTube video. I've gotten good at helicopters and jets, just have to deal with the Avengers. In the YouTube video, the guy was using missiles on the jet. What the hell? I was like, why don't I have it? Is it because I don't own the Raiju? Is that why? After some research, I just had to press tab. In the comment section, I found some good tips to deal with Avengers like taking them to the windmill farm, city skyscrapers and taking them to Fort Zancudo. These methods did work but the last Avenger is invincible. No matter where it gets stuck, it doesn't blow up. Like what the hell man? If I had crashed like that, I would have blew up immediately. It should be the same case for everyone in the game. I didn't like this feature, even though I get it. You want us to fight the Avenger, but come on Rockstar, it should blow up when it gets hit somewhere, alright? Well, after learning about the missiles, I finished the mission on first try. This is how it went. I'll fast forward this part. The mission wasn't hard or anything. I just had to use the right equipments, which I had but I didn't know about it. With that, I completed that mission. The fourth mission is called Breaking Ranks. In this mission, you have to steal some crates from Meriwether Warehouse. Taking out everyone and stealing the crates was pretty easy. When we get close to the Avenger, it gets blown up. It's all thanks to Meriwether's airstrikes and if you slow down the car, the airstrike is going to drop on your head. As I said, this one is not that hard, they try to do it like a movie sequence or something like that. Rooster coming in with a jammer to stop the airstrikes, flying over our head and protecting us and all that. But it's a simple mission, in the end I completed it in first try. And the fifth mission is called Unfair Warfare. In this mission, you skydive into a government facility and rescue a guy. I failed the first time and the second time, but third time, I reached the guy but ran out of armors and died. In the fourth attempt, the first priority was reaching the guy and when we return, we can take out all of these guys who are guarding him. This plan worked flawlessly, I got the guy, took out everyone in the building and escaped just to find out that more of these guys were waiting outside. After some close calls, I got in on a SWAT van. I don't know what these things are called, but it protected us till we reached the Avenger. Then people chased the Avenger as well. But this part of the mission was kinda cool, not gonna lie. You escape from them and the mission is completed. And for the final mission, you go to the Meriwether HQ for the 500th time in the game and take out every single one there and enter this room just to unlock this lock on the cargo. So I did it, took out all of them one by one, destroyed all the signal jammers and unlocked the cargo. By now, I ran out of armors and snacks. 
meaning I have to finish this mission with no healing. I took it real slow, moving inch by inch. It wasn't a great experience, but I didn't want to play this mission again. But right when I was about to finish, this happened. Well, I had to replay it, but this time I destroyed everyone, destroyed the helicopters before the tactical team landed, cleared the back quickly, and we are inside the Avenger. And the final part of the mission is delivering the cargo to Fort San Kudo. That's it. And in the final cutscene, actual military officers came to meet us, I don't know why, and Los Santos Angels became the best private military org or something, I don't know. And with that, all the six missions ended and the video is ending as well. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one.